This ain't advice. I'm not your advisor. And as they say in the biz, slap that subscribe button. We're only about 10 hundred thousand away from a million. We're almost there. Welcome to today's episode of Buck Talk. Let's check out the question. What to do with an old 401k? You're 25, you just switched jobs, you're wondering what to do with the old 401k. Many people wonder that every year. It's worth rolling into an IRA with the same bank? Depends on the bank. What are the advantages and disadvantages of doing so? Does a recent decline in the market affect what you should do? Um, let's start with the end. So the recent decline in the market does not affect what you should do except in two situations or two things to think about. So one of them is when you roll it over, probably what's gonna happen is you submit a form with your 401k provider and they're gonna move everything to cash and it's probably gonna be in cash for two weeks, give or take a week or two. Uh, and then a check will hit either your IRA or you or wherever the check goes. Um, but very few 401ks, maybe none, can do a direct transfer of assets. I don't think I've ever seen it. Uh, maybe it can't be done. And so your money's going to be in cash whenever you do that. So do keep that in mind. If the market shoots up, then you'll be kind of pissed. And if it goes way down, you'll be really happy. Uh, the other thing is if that plan says, hey, if you've got less than X dollars, maybe it's $3,000 in the 401k, we won't let you stay in. We're going to kick you out. We're going to write you a check. And this drop in the market just dropped you below whatever that X dollars is. That would be something to to think about you might want to beat it to the punch because usually that default is an option that you have right now which is just to have a check mailed to you directly made out to you not to your ira and if they do that they're going to withhold 20 percent for federal taxes and then you are going to owe taxes and penalties on the whole distribution you don't want to do that you probably don't want to pay taxes you definitely don't want to pay penalties so Rolling it over into an IRA or leaving it where it is as long as you're allowed to do that both seem fine. I don't know if it's a good uh, 401k or a bad 401k. You said it's with the same bank. I don't know exactly what you mean by bank, but most things that people call banks have pretty shitty 401ks. But if it's a Fidelity 401k or a Vanguard 401k, that's probably totally fine. And I, I would, if it were me, I'd probably just want to get control of it and not have to leave it there and wonder. But... Yeah, I don't see any problem with it. Um, definitely either leaving it where it is so you don't pay taxes or penalties or rolling it over to an IRA so you don't pay taxes or penalties are the ways to go. And remember, if you want to roll it over, you want it to be a direct rollover so that the money is made out to your IRA so that if you've got $3,000, a $3,000 check gets deposited into your IRA and not a you know $2,400 check and then... $600 that you got to make up yourself because that's what you have to do if you don't want to pay penalties. You get that check sent to you and they withhold 600 bucks and they send you 2400 If you don't want to pay any tax or penalty, you've got to write a check for $3,000 and put it in the IRA. Uh, so it could be a little tricky, but good luck. <laughs>